Hey you guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to transfer emails from one Gmail account to another one. To do this, we'll have to use a desktop or browser, so have a laptop on hand so you can follow along as we go through. Let's jump right in. The first thing we're going to want to do is prepare our old account. Um, so firstly, have your Gmail launched on your desktop. So we have to set up our old profile and prepare it to um, migrate over to another account. Um, and to do this, we have to use what's called POP or, or Post Office Protocol Settings. And to access these settings, you firstly want to be logged into your account. I'm already logged in here. And then up in the top right hand side of the screen, we have the settings icon. So we're going to click on this and this is going to bring down all of our quick settings here. Um, and we want to click on see all settings. So beneath the settings here, you'll see that we have a bunch of different options at the top here. And if we go over to the right, we're going to find the top slash IMAP settings. So we're going to click on this. It's going to take us to this page here. Then under pop download, we want to select enable pop for all mail. So when we select this, we have a step two beneath this. This is when messages are accessed with POP. To the right of this, we have a drop down menu. So we're going to click that drop down menu. And this is basically where you're going to select what you want to happen with those emails when they come into this old Gmail account. So you can keep all of the Gmail's copy in the inbox. You can mark Gmail's copy as read, archive them or delete them. And once you've selected what you want, we're going to go down to the bottom and click save changes. Hey, if you're finding this video helpful, you can also support the channel through super stickers. These basically help fund the channel. It helps allow us to continue creating videos and content for you guys. Thanks, and let's get back to the video. Okay, so now that our old Gmail account has been prepped and ready to um, migrate, we're going to sign out of our current email and sign in to the new one, the one in which we want these emails to be imported into. And we're going to sign out of all accounts. So now I want to use another account. I'm going to select this so that I can create or enter in the email address that I want to change the settings on. So for this example, if I was creating a Gmail account from scratch, this is how I would do that. So we're going to go into the sign in option and where you would normally log in, you'll find the create account just to the left of next. So we're going to click on this. Um, and then you can select what this new email account is going to be used for. So whether that's personal use, maybe it's for a child or for your work or business. Um, for this, I'm just going to select personal use. And then you're just going to enter your first and last name. The last name is optional. And then you're going to hit next. Then you'll enter just some basic information. So your birthday and your gender. And then we're going to hit next again. So now we're going to choose what we want our email address to be. And at the top here, we're going to be given two um, pre-made email addresses. These are two that are all ready to use. Um, sometimes if you create your own Gmail address, then you'll have difficulty finding one the first try because a lot of them are taken. So if you want, you can select one of these two and then we'll hit next. Now we want to create a password for this email account and we'll hit next. Now that I have this new Gmail address, um, I'm given the option at the end of creating this email to put in a recovery email address. This is basically an address where Google can contact it. If there's any unusual activity um, on this address, um, you'll get an email. Your older address or the one that you've entered in here, just letting you know what's going on. Perfect. So now I have a new email address created. Accept the terms and conditions. Okay, so now we're logged in to our new email address and the next step is going to be importing email from the old address to this new one. We're going to go up to the top right corner once again and we're going to hit that settings icon and then we're going to go to see all settings. This time we're going to go to the accounts and import settings here and then under themes we will find check mail from other accounts right here. It's near the bottom. And to the right of this, we'll find the add a mail account. So we'll click this. And now this is where we're going to enter that old email address in and then simply click next. And then we have two options here, which we can select from. We want to select the second most option. This is the import emails from my other account. And then we'll hit next. So now we're just going to double check that the username and password is correct. So 
we're going to take a look at the username then i'm going to enter the password and then beneath password we'll find the pop server and instead of mail.gmail.com we're going to type in pop.gmail.com to the right of this is the port and we're going to click on that down arrow and select port 995. Beneath this, we have a few options with check boxes, and we want to check off the second most option, which is the always use a secure connection when retrieving mail. So we'll check off this. Anything else that's been checked off, um, make sure it's unchecked. And then once you're finished with all of this, definitely like look it all over and make sure all of the information is correct on there. We're going to add account. Once you add the account, you'll be given the option to choose a preference where it says, would you also like to be able to send a mail as your old uh, Gmail account? You can choose that preference. That way you can choose whether you want to reply through your old Gmail account or your new one. If you want to do that, just follow the instructions on the screen. Otherwise, your account has been set up and all of your old emails are going to be transferred and imported. Um, in real time to this new one. Now, if you wanted to stop all of those Gmail imports, I'm going to show you how to do this right now. So to stop the imports, you'll want to be logged in on the new email address, and then you're going to go up to the top right hand side and hit that settings icon once again. We'll go down to see all settings, and then up at the top here, we'll find that accounts and import option. Click on this. And in check mail from other accounts, that old email address will be here. And to the right of it, there will be a delete option. So you'll simply click delete and then you'll confirm by clicking OK. And now that old email address will not be importing any of the emails into this new account anymore. So as a bonus tip, I'm going to show you how to download your Gmail emails. This is just an alternative if you didn't want to import uh, your emails like I showed you. Essentially, you can download your emails and store them wherever you want, um, and you can access them whenever you want, and this is also a really great way to hold your emails without transferring them. To do this, we're going to go to the Google Takeout website. We're going to click on the link for this. It's going to bring us to our account and our data, um, and what we want to do is at the top here, we want to click deselect all. Now we're going to scroll down until we find the mail icon. Once we find it, we're going to check off this box. And then we're going to scroll down to the very bottom until we find the next step option. So we'll go, we'll click on that next step. So then we're on to step two. Um, and this is where you're going to choose the file type, the frequency and the destination. So we'll have the destination option here, and then we have a transfer to, and then a downwards arrow that's gonna open up a bunch of different destination options. So this is where you're just going to select whichever one that you prefer. So what you can do is send a download link through your email. You can add it to your Google Drive, add to your Dropbox, add to your OneDrive, or add to your box. So you can either just do an export once option, or you can export every two months for one year. I'm going to keep it on export once. This is just a one-time thing for me. Now we're going to choose the file type and the file size. So you can either download it as a zip file or as a TGZ file. And then for file size, you can choose from one gigabyte to 10 gigabytes. If you're ever unsure, it's always best to stay in the mid range. So two or four gigabytes. And now that we've chosen everything that we want, we're going to click create export on the bottom right corner and now beneath this export progress um, it's just going to give me a little message of what's going on and what I can expect so it's telling me here that Google is creating a copy of data from mail um, and it's also telling me that this process might take, take up to hours or even days to complete and I'll be receiving an email when my export is done so Beneath this, it's going to give you the date in which this was created, um, and then you can just keep an eye out in your email for that link if that's what you chose. And that is how you download your Gmails. Alrighty, you guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that that was helpful. Maybe you can use this information or pass it on to somebody else who needs it. Thanks again, and as always, I will see you guys in the next video.